Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. So let's break this thing. Let's understand the period 1. So period 1 has two elements, hydrogen and helium. So if you see hydrogen electronic conduction, this is 1s1. That is my electronic conduction. Helium it is 1s2. So what is the maximum value of n? In both the case it is 1. So it is a period 1. Period 1 has only two elements. Please note, period 1 has only two elements. Correct. And please note that when I am writing uh, elements of a period, they may not or they will not have similar chemical or physical property. They will not have. They all will have different. So, for grouping of chemical uh, physical property, we'll talk about groups. Please note when you talk about groups, that means everybody in the group has similar properties. But period will not have any such kind of thing. The only thing is that the valence shell, the outermost valence shell, determines which period it belongs. If you talk about period two, it has lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, and neon. If you see for lithium, the value of n is 2. How? If you see, it is 1s2, 2s1. Correct? So the value of n is 2. For beryllium, if you see, the atomic number is 4, so it becomes 1s2, 2s2. So atom n is 2, maximum number value of n. For boron, if you see, it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Here also, maximum value of n is 2. Carbon, if you see, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Here also maximum value of n is 2. For nitrogen, if you see, it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Here also maximum value of n is 2. Correct? So for oxygen, if you see, it is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p4 is the electronic configuration. Correct? Here also maximum value of n is 2. For fluorine, if you see, it is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p5. Correct? Because so in atomic number is 9. So here also a maximum value of n is 2. And for neon, let's see 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6. Why? The atomic number is 10. Electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. The maximum value of n is 2. So for all these maximum value of so the period is 2. Correct. Let's take uh, period 3. So in period 3, if you see the maximum value of n is 3. Example sodium. Sodium, if I take, this becomes atomic number is 11. The configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So maximum value of n is 3. Correct. If you take aluminium, so atomic number is 13. So this becomes 1s2, 2s2. 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Here also maximum value of n is 3. So, you just have to write the electronic configuration, find the maximum value of n, and that becomes your period number, right? So, this period 3 also has 8 elements. Correct. Let's see period 4. Period 4 has more elements. You see it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 19 to 36. Correct? So it has 18 elements. So here also the rocket, you don't have to do apply much of uh, logic here. Just write the electronic configuration and the one, the maximum value of n is nothing but the period. For example, potassium will be elect, uh, atomic number is 19 so it will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, 3p6, 4s1. This is the electronic configuration. The maximum value of n is 4. And please note it has 18 elements. I will tell you why it has 18 elements why not 8 elements. So the reason why it is like this is, so if you see, if you start from potassium right, so first my 4s1 is filled, correct, 
and then my 3dr fields right so and then my 4pr field correct so my uh, 4s can have two elements my 3d can have 10 elements and my again 4p can have six elements right p orbitals can have maximum six elements p sharp cells actually and d sub cell can have only uh, 10 elements because they are 5d orbitals and s sub cell can have only two elements because they only one s orbitals so these things we have learned in atomic structure class please note if you are finding difficulty in understanding this video please watch the atomic structure video where i explain what is shell then you have subshell then you have orbitals each orbitals will have two elements and these 3d 4p are, are subshells and then this number one two three four this number determines the shell so that's why it has 18 elements we'll take more examples to understand why uh, some period has eight elements some period has eight elements we'll take one example on that just understand that this has Similarly, if you go to the period 5, this also has 18 elements, right? And here also things are very simple. Just write the electronic configuration. The maximum value of n is nothing but my right? the period. For example, if you take uh, Rb, the atomic number of idium, I got atomic number is 37. So the electronic configuration will be 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, uh, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s1. So we see the maximum value of n is 5. So this is my fifth period. Okay. Similarly, if you see for any of these elements, you just write the electronic continuum, you will sign that. For all these, the maximum value of n is 5. You see, either this or this. Correct? So, the outermost electron is in either 5s or 5p shell. So, the maximum value of electron uh, number is 5. Value of n is 5. Maximum value of n. Sixth, if you see, sixth periodic table. So, sixth period has 32 elements. So you see there are 32 elements in this from 55 to 86 and there is a series called lanthanide series here. Please don't, this is it's called lanthanide series and if you see all these elements have also if you write the electronic configuration it will have the maximum value of n is 6. Either of these if you see the maximum value of n is 6 or these elements the maximum value of n is 6. So the maximum value of n determines which period it belongs. So in this case the maximum value of n is 6. There are 32 elements, right, from cesium to Rn, and it also has lanthanide. You see period 7. This also has 32 elements. It has one series called actinide series, and it also has 32 elements. And to find if an element belongs to a period or not. Here also if you see all the electronic configurations of these elements has maximum value of n is 7. Correct. So let's take example how will you justify the presence of 18 elements in fifth period. So if you see this is the order of uh, filling of shells, sorry filling of subshells, subshells energy using a bow principle. So if you see, if I'm talking about fifth period, fifth period start from here, right? So till this from here to here, the fifth period is not fit. So only when I get one element here, my fifth period starts. And it continues, continues. So this is my start of fifth period, right? Because this, the moment I get one element here, I can say that the maximum value of n becomes pi and my fifth period starts. The moment I get element here, sixth period starts. So this guy is nothing but start of 
sixth period. So if this guy is start of sixth period, element before this will be end of sixth period, end of fifth period. Sorry. Hope you understand. See, this guy, if you see, is my start of first period. This guy two is start of second period, right? This three. First time getting three, this is my start of third period. First time getting four, start of fourth period. First time getting five, start of fifth period. First time getting six, start of sixth period. First time getting seven, start of seventh period. And then if I get eight, start of eight period. This is the eight period. So that's how the starting is there. Now if six s is the starting of sixth period, so element before this will be end of fifth period. So my fifth period contains these many elements, right? Five s can accommodate a light here. 5s, 4d, and 5e. Correct. 5s can occur at the max two elements because s sub cell has only one orbital and one orbit can have two electron. 4d can have ten electron. Why? 4d sub cell can have five or d sub cells can have five orbitals. Right? We have explained this in the atomic structure class. So the maximum number of electron that can accumulate in a d sub shell is five into two to this ten. Similarly, p sub shell can have three orbitals, p x, p y, p z. So p sub shell can accumulate three into two six electrons. So if you add these, this becomes ten plus two, twelve plus six, eighteen. So there can be eighteen elect eighteen elements in this fifth period. Let's change the same question for the sixth period. So if you see, this is the starting of sixth period. This is the Start of seventh period. So this is the end of sixth period. So sixth period will have these many elements. Correct. So let me write here: six s, four f, five d, six. Correct. So six s sub shell can have two electrons. F sub cell can have seven orbitals. That means fourteen electrons. Correct. D sub shell can have Five orbitals, that is ten electrons. P sub shell can have three orbitals, p x, p y, p z, that is six electrons. If we add this, ten, fourteen plus two, sixteen, twenty six plus six, thirty two. So if you see, if you remember, we have told that the period number six has thirty two elements. Here also we can see that period number six has thirty two elements. Let's do the same thing for fourth period. Fourth period. Fourth period starts from here, and fifth period starts from here. Correct. So number of element in fourth period will be these values. Correct. So it is four s three d four s sub shell can have two electrons. D sub shell can have how many? Ten electrons. Five orbitals. Ten electrons. P sub shell three orbitals. Six electrons. So if you add these, this becomes eighteen. So if you see, fourth period also has eight elements. This is what we have studied also. This is how you can find how many elect elements can there be in a particular period if you know this order. And to know this order, you should know the above principle that we have discussed in the last class. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.